guys, Eric and Danny with Tools in Action. Today, we're going to go over the Husqvarna 125 BVX blower. So I'm going to let Dan actually talk about it. I've got some use on it. He got a lot of use on it, but I'm going to let Dan kind of take it away. And, and All right. Uh, basically, it's a handheld blower, 28 cc's, 170 mile an hour, and 470 CFM. It's geared kind of towards the homeowner or someone that needs the freedom of gas power, but needs just, you know, doesn't need that much air movement. Uh, you know, 170 is kind of on the lower scale, entry level scale. Uh, but it's a reliable little machine. They used to have the 125B, which actually they had a lot of problems with, with fuel lines and stuff like that. This has all been corrected in this new model here, the BVX, the 125 BVX. And uh, we've been using it. I've ran about five tanks through it, uh, doing my yard. Eric's probably ran about six. We loaned it out to a few of the neighbors. They've been using it, and everybody's come back and just raving about it. It's a great little rugged, reliable machine from Husqvarna. This ha also has the vacuum attachment. It's mostly tool free. You're just gonna slide it on. As you can see right now, we're sucking it up. It has a plastic impeller, but it has metal cutters. So it's gonna give you a compression ratio of about 16 to one. Um, also comes with different tips. Compression, you mean like a mulching 16 to one? Or yeah, so like oh, if you have okay, a pile right. that's 16 times yeah, the pile, well, yeah. it's gonna cut it down to one. Does that make sense? No, I understand what you um, mean. I didn't, when you said compression though, I thought you were talking about something else. Uh, it's a mulching is what a mulch Maybe it's is. not called compression. No, I think mulch, it mulch is a six Mulching years. ratio, yeah. yeah. Um, comes with different tips that you can put on the end here. You have the wide blast tip for different areas. Uh, overall, it's a great unit. It has a cruise control on it. Uh, I'll let Eric talk a little bit about some of the features that he liked of it. Yeah, I like, first of all, like Dan was talking about, I like the nice wide tip. I, I really didn't use the uh, sucking, I was using more of the blowing, but it was nice. Um, one cool thing, I love the cruise control on this. Easy to access with your thumb, it's got a nice curve to it, very easy to set. Another item I like is on top where the on and off switch is, well the off switch I should say, it's got a dust protective cover on there. I had a blower a long time ago and ended up having problems with it. Now whether it was because of dust and debris got in there or not, I don't know, but that is a nice protection. Another thing I like is everything's easy to access on here, whether it's your filter, your spark plug, the maintenance on here is really easy. And like Dan always gets on my case for is, you know, make sure before winter time you want to clean everything out, run the fuel out of it, protect it for winter time if you're in those cold areas, obviously. So, but overall, yeah, I think I've got about, I've had to run five tanks through here. And you know what? I love it. It's nice. It's a nice blower. It's a good little runner, like Eric's saying. Uh, to go from the blow mode to vacuum mode, it's pretty much tool free. You can just undo this, slide it out, slide it in your bag, and put your uh, your suction tube on. And, but like Eric said, with the maintenance and stuff like that, with any gas-powered machine, and I've talked to a lot of companies, and their number one return rate is from bad gas. Yeah. And a lot of people think, well, I don't have bad gas. I mixed it at the beginning of the summer. Bass goes bass. Gas goes bad within three months. If you don't put any kind of stable chemical in there or anything, it's going to go bad. It's happened to me. It's happened to Eric. And I mean, we're, you know, we're yeah. preaching to the choir here and it's like it's happened to us so i always make sure i have uh, fresh gas in it at the end of the season what i'm going to do is dump the gas out and run it until it actually stalls so there's no gas in the carburetor that can gum up yeah. any if you put any gas in it you leave it over the winter any gas powered machine is going to uh foul up on you yep. this is a two cycle so you're going to want to add 50 to 1 oil ratio. It comes with a little bottle of oil, but you're always going to want to maintain that in the end. And you can buy those yeah. true fuel things, which don't have ethanol in them. Yeah. Um, yep. I, I mean, I don't know how good those are. I don't know, because they don't really have dates on them and they're not sealed. That's the only thing I didn't like about them. I heard them. they're good because they last longer because they don't have the ethanol in them. Right, but, right. But no, I mean, if it's been sitting on the shelf for yeah, four that's years, true. Yeah, you exactly. know, who knows? Well, that's why I was laughing because, you know, I was all... I had a problem with the lawnmower. I was, you know, all proud of myself. I took the whole thing apart. I couldn't get, I couldn't basically get it to run. So I took the whole thing apart, everything. Replaced the spark plug, did everything. I had the engine apart and all that. Put it back together, still couldn't get it to run. So I took it in, cost me 50 bucks for them to tell me it was bad gas, all that. Yeah. So it's just something little simple. It's like make sure your TV's plugged in before you call the repairman, you know? Right, and if you're the type of user that just wants to use this thing once a year just to blow leaves off your patio, don't get a gas unit. No, yeah, You know, definitely. gas are meant to be used. They're meant for longevity. They're meant to, you know, go out to your trees that are away from an electrical outlet or whatnot and, you know, blow this stuff around. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, I, I mean, it did a really good job. It sucked up some leaves. It did good. It filled the bag pretty good. Uh, I can't complain about this little Husqvarna. I mean, obviously, we're fans of Husqvarna here at Tools in Action. We just saw them at GIE, and we believe that they make a really good quality pro product. Now, don't get me wrong. Every company makes a bad product once in a while, you yeah. know, but we think that the 125BX is really a good product. Yeah. 
And so. as much as we ran, we haven't had any problems with it. So yeah, and I mean, we've probably got. I mean, I would say you probably get, get roughly thirty to forty minutes on a tank, depending on what you're doing, how high you you get. I mean, you might get you a little think so? less. I don't. I don't know. I thought I got a little bit more, but you know what? I wasn't really paying yeah, attention. Yeah, it all depends on where go. your throttle is, what you're doing. I mean, sucking up, uh, it's going to probably suck up a little bit more fuel. But it did all right on fuel. Not, not, nothing to write home about, but just your average. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's a great little unit. Easy to access, ergonomic, handle right here on the bottom, so you can, or right on this side, so you can hold it when it's in the, uh, the vacuum mode. mode. Vacuum. Yeah, so can't go wrong. How's far? Anything else you need to add, Eric? I don't. You pretty much covered it all. All right, cool. Check out toolsinaction.com.